Hi guys, my name's Seb Shooter, I'm the man on Silver Mountain, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Now, I, I, I kind of want to jump around a little bit with this game, because unlike some of the other games we play, it, it has taken a lot of time to, to farm and get stuff and stuff like that when I've been playing by myself, so, you know, this may very well end up the same. But, the first thing that I wanted to do in this video was take a look at the, uh, the character customization, because apart from where you've got the... the Viking, the Gek, and the Corvax, the the kind of game specific races. You've got the Anomaly, which is just kind of interesting because it's the human interject, and then you've got the the Traveler. And I kind of wanted to take a look at some of these because some of these helmets and things are very referential. So here we've got your normal space helmet. Fine. This one, I know this mask from somewhere with the hexagonal pattern across it, and I can't remember where it's from. It was from some underwater sci-fi film, something in the sea. That one I'm not too sure about. Neither that one. But that one is reminiscent of something, I'm sure. That one's obviously a stormtrooper. This one, to me, if any of you guys saw the old Battlestar Galactica, uh, Battlestar Galactica, I'm not talking about the, the the new one where it was all very sleek and very cinematic cameras and all the rest of it, but I'm talking about the the original from way way back. And the the pilots in that show uh, that, that flew the Vipers, the Viper fighters, had this very um, almost ancient Egyptian style kind of tomb mask esque kind of fan to the helmet with um, a bit of a kind of chin strap that looked like a little bit of a beardy thing. And this, to me, I mean, I think it's more supposed to be a space knight in the design with the, the ornate parts across here, but just the, the shape of the visor and the little beardy bit at the bottom here on the chin. Just, just me and a couple of friends, when we started playing this, we were sat there just going, That's, that looks to us like Battlestar Galactica. This one, I don't know. Um, if anything, that is the Scout Trooper from Star Wars. That one is, I guess, kind of Master Chief with the kind of jutted forward um, thing. This one is from 2001 A Space Odyssey. And then, I'm not too sure about that one. That one just that's just a bit chunky. Uh, but I'm going to go with 2001 A Space Odyssey. And in that, they had red. Dave had a red suit. Let's just go with just a, a no. what, what color should we yeah we'll go we'll go with that well can we make it gold now let's let's go with the the white there but it's it's like the the let's just have a look at the travelers though yeah yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll sort that out in a minute um but the travelers again it's it's all in the heads and we've got weird generic alien we've got this that kind of reminds me of Wally. -E. you know just two uh eyes that focus and move and and kind of judge their environment and it conveys some element of emotion and interest and interactiveness uh maybe also not not so much but a little bit of, of kind of johnny five from short circuit now this one this one's kind of interesting to me because it's, it's a weird singularity lots of people like this one this one is the one that i use on my my game that i play by myself um but it's kind of interesting because these these things that are floating around it lots of people have been like oh, it's a containment field oh it's this that and the other and just like oh these weird rings um, and I think they're actually reminiscent of Geordie LaForge's visor from Star Trek. And the reason I say that is when you aim uh, with your multi-tool and you have this head, the two visors or the two um, kind of crescents, I guess, line up and kind of spread out slightly as if they are th through, you know, what it's aiming through. And so it's, it's it seems to be something sensory, which is kind of cool. This one, God's knows. Then you've got the kind of weird, fun alien types, including this one, which I've seen people turn into the Pink Panther, among other things, um, and bits and pieces. And and like some of these just seem a little over the top, but this one almost seems a little reminiscent of um, some of the creatures from you know not just Star Trek, but from from your more generic 
kind of open-ended sci-fi, to be honest. Um, you know, they're, they're even I can even see elements like in the shape of the back of its head of like the the aliens from Independence Day. But anyway, let's let's go back to being an anomaly because I want my 2001 uh, space helmet. Um, where is it? it? Was this one right? Yeah. Do that. Do that. No, no, we want the, the white visor. Torso, do we have just a normal... No, let's get rid of the... Are you a normal spacesuit? Can we have just a normal spacesuit? Number one. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with that and we'll do this. And I think his suit was otherwise kind of darker. So there's that. Uh, we'll get rid of that armor. The the armor styles in this are a little like I don't know. Part of me wishes that they they had kind of more to them, um, or more options. And hopefully that's a thing that they'll add in the future. Now that they've added um, this stuff in, but uh, you know who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Those, that, and then that. I don't know why his belt is still pink. Did I miss something? Is it part of his? Yeah, okay, so let's, yeah, let's do, okay. Boots, we want. Go with those. And the backpack is just a pattern, so we'll we'll, uh, we'll just go with that. There we go. So we are Dave. I notice we've still got a little bit of pink on us, but I can't be bothered to change it right now, so we'll sort that out later on. Um, also, oh, okay, can't pick that one up. Um, but yeah, okay, let's not walk into things. Let's go and uh, jump back in our ship because we, we were kicking off the beginning of the of the story. And this is the part that everyone and their, their uncle has seen from the beginning of the game to a degree. Like, there's a little bit more text added in, a little bit more stuff uh, in the way of discussion points and things. But uh, otherwise... Like it's nothing that hasn't been shown off on, so I'll probably, you know, I want to get to the story. The story is the thing that not a lot of people have talked about comparatively, and uh, from the bits that I've been getting to, it's fascinating and I'm loving it. Um, like this is again, this isn't a game that, that I would have expected to. Um, of my heartstrings at all um, and yeah it managed it a little bit not a lot but a little bit more than I expected to say the least so you know I'm, I'm on board with what it's trying to do but exactly how well it will pull off any more than that what's up big fellas Baby, you've got the weirdest heads. Strange. Actually, this is a really surprisingly temperate environment. There are no hazards. There's no, no anything. Most of the other planets that I've come across that are like, eh, no hazards, nothing to worry about, end up having, like, boiling monsoons and like every 10 seconds you know it's not not even like oh well yeah they happen on this planet it's there's a break for like 10 seconds before another rain shower starts the size of the signal bad stuff happened to a person here have these these pieces of tech for you to build Say you actually are. 
Okay, no gender, that's interesting. But, but the one thing that I'm surprised that no one's got pissed off about yet um, is that they're using gender to mean sex. Um, and, you know, I'm fine with that. The words have been interchangeable since the 1920s to one degree or another. It's only more recently the, like, the work of certain individuals has started to draw a greater division between words and their definitions and things. But, yeah, it's kind of fascinating. Right, so, what have we got? Well, we need chromatic metal for that, tech modules for those. The damage wiring is a ball ache to get rid of, uh, just because it requires so much. But at least we've only got four there, so we can open up the majority of stuff fairly easily to a degree. We just need some cash for the tech modules for the most part. And uh, then copper for the chromatic metal there. And I did see some copper as we were coming down. I think it was over here. Do you know what? This might be a nice place to set up a, a, a base for the moment. But let's see. I mean, we've got some salvageable tech over there, which would be nice. Are you copper? You're copper. Okay. okay, let's head this way and. Wait, what does the terrain. We need the terrain module first. Sorry, the terrain manipulator. Oh, two carbon nanotubes. Okay, that's fine. We can we can do that. No, that one. Right. Oh, we're missing carbon? Apparently we're missing carbon. There are trees everywhere. I didn't actually see how prevalent sentinels were here. They're obviously not violent because they're like just off the bat because there was one stood down there kind of looking gormlessly around. But, um, you know, I prefer that it's not as soon as they hear a tree being cut down, they flip out. Yeah, so the, one, one of the things that I'm thinking that I'll... I'll do with this the, the elements of the playthrough that I do here is that um, I'll do these uh, these first couple of episodes are just kind of talking about you know the game because I was looking forward to this so much initially and then it kind of like I didn't get it at the time you know straight off the bat and I feel like that's probably a good thing um, purely because it was. It was so buggy and such an issue for for people, um, and so it's it's kind of a yeah. It would be it would be uh, great to to have all of this. It's just a shame that they kind of made a bit of a mess of of what they were trying to do because they overpromised and they they released as a full game rather than. Uh, putting it into early access, which, to be fair, it should have been. Um, considering what they were talking about, the things they were promising, all that stuff, this this should have been an early access title. Easily, easily should have been an early access title. But, they, oh, is that copper over there? Is that closer? No, that's a sodium deposit. Interesting. Little chubby creature. Birds. Ah, 
birds and things can be a pain in the ass to scan, I will agree with that. But it's mostly just due to them being fast moving, I feel. Like, I've heard people complaining about the speed of scanning and stuff. And granted, I don't have a point of reference from beforehand to really judge. Uh, but at the same time, like, it doesn't seem that bad to me. It, when, they, when it's like, oh, it takes longer to... It takes longer to scan things. Um, it takes longer for, for the scanner to lock on and stuff like that. Could, could certain areas of this game be much better explained? Definitely. Um, but it, it is a little niggle on time with scanning stuff that big an issue. I, I don't feel so. Um, but, nope, we want to go to discoveries. And I'm just going to submit those as is for the time being, as well as this planetary data. Okay, so, yeah, like, there's a sentinel right there and it's not fussed by us, so hopefully it will remain not fussed by us as we go and take the carbon from wherever we end up taking it from. Not carbon, copper. We need copper, not carbon. Although we should probably pick up this car this uh, carbon no, no the other one. Probably pick up this carbon because we're probably gonna need it for recharging certain things as we go. Cool. There we go. Okay. So, should hopefully just be over here. Another thing that I'll say about this game that's kind of completely unrelated to everything else uh, in regards to it as a game, the music is very nice. Uh, the other day when I, I logged into the game to do some bits and pieces, there we go. I think it was catching on the, the plant there and it wasn't, wasn't registering. Um, but yeah, the other day I, I logged in just to just to do some stuff, just to put a roof on a building um, that I, I was working on, just as something to relax with. And I was greeted by the nicest, most relaxing music, um, which was nice because I had been having a tough day. So. You know, I'll, I'll definitely say that for the game. It's, it's got a really nice soundtrack. It's like, I, I feel like now they've managed kind of 90%, or maybe not 90%, but looking back on trailers and things that got me excited for this um, when it was first announced and they were first showing things off, I, like judging, comparing this to the, the trailer, I'm now like the majority of what they said would be in the game is now in the game. Aren't you interested? Interesting. Six leg chunky cat. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's. I've been pleasantly surprised by now how this game has taken on a new piece of life. Because I've, I've talked before about how kind of certain sci-fi games and things I, I was really looking forward to or really hopeful for or, you know, that's I wanted it to be a certain way. And whilst this isn't necessarily everything that I could have wished for, or that there are still things that I hope they they work on and that go into the game separately. You know, the, the vast majority of stuff is here. Multiplayer, bases, um, the, the various forms of traversal, 
being able to create your own fleet. One of the things that that, that is that I understand, that I completely understand, but is the, maybe a little, you know, makes me kind of go, oh, that's a shame. Um, was the fact that you you've got um, the capacity to build fleets now? I believe the the limit is a freighter and 50 ships, or it could just be 50 ships. Um, and it's like, I, I found out with my friends before I actually went and looked it up, um, that you can't have more than one person's fleet in a system at a time. And part of me feels like that's a little, a little sad, you know. You, you want to gather all together and show your ships off, compare uh, them kind of side by side, get a, a picture of, of like this vast fleet all together and you know at the moment you can't do that. I understand why because you know that's a lot of stuff um, that the game would have to keep track of and kind of use um, in and of itself but you know, I, I hope that at some point we get to a case, uh, get to a situation where you can show your your ships off, like uh, you know, your whole fleets off to each other, just because it's like uh, that'd be fun. Why wouldn't that be fun? That'd be a great thing to do, you know. And there are certain things that that would be nice uh, that have have been mentioned and that haven't, in regards to um, like. Maybe not more stuff in zero G because there isn't really zero G. Oh, excuse me. But like more stuff that um, you know, you turn up and you find a damaged, uh, damaged set of ships, a damaged fleet, absolute ruin of, of stuff that's happened in the past, pirates that happened, or whatever. Um. And it, it would just be nice to be able to go, you know, board those ships and salvage stuff. Maybe find them filled with the new biological horrors because they're basically xenomorphs. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of potential for expansion with this game, and I'm hoping that they get there. The other thing, the, because I like me my big stompy monsters, and I'm very much looking to the next Godzilla, I like my kaiju, I like my my large creatures, as it were, and all the interesting things that kind of go along with them. And one of the things that was shown off in one of the earlier trailers oh, excuse me, was um, basically a sandworm from June. And it was it was seemingly rendered in the way that it was rendered, even though the the demo and stuff that they were showing off, they admitted later on, was basically just a, a vertical slice, very specifically shot vertical slice of of what they kind of wanted to show off. And it's like that's that's all very well and good, but where are my giant sandworms? Yeah, that that's that's what I want. I want me my giant sandworms. I want me my giant sea creatures. Space whales. Give me space whales. You know. And uh, and those are the things that we've not really uh, seen yet. You know, or at all. And it's just like, it would be nice to have those things eventually make their way into the game. But otherwise, the, the, a good chunk of what they promised before is now here, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Like this is, yes, there are elements of it that I wish were more fleshed out and more, uh, more kind of ex just expanded upon. Um, and so far, they've been doing these free updates that have been what people have been asking for. So that's that's great. Hopefully, we'll get some more of that coming up soon, or coming up next, as it were. But yeah, here we've we've got kind of uh, a game that's uh, again a bit of an example of what games can achieve if given a quick boot up the arse. You know, developers that aren't doing well enough, people that the. the 
an issue. Like, I, I was no more a fan of the hyperbolic kind of comments and things that were made by Sean Murray, by Hello Games, by Sony, and whoever else, uh, when they were first putting this game out there. But at the same time, it's like, I can respect Sean Murray and the others for not going, oh, you're all hating, oh, this is all in your head, and all the rest of it. You know, there was a level of ownership that was taken of it, and they've worked to solve the problem. Whilst there are lots of other games that will brand those that criticise the game as haters, um, there are, there and, and all that kind of thing. And, and that wasn't something that we saw in the aftermath of the launch of this game. And so there are lots of things to criticise, by all means, but the further development and growth of, of this game is not really one of them, which I'm kind of glad about, because if it had been, I don't think we would have gotten this stuff. Download the plans for shelter. I wonder, this is a very peaceful planet, with no, because we, we, I've been finding that in, in other games, like uh, other saves of No Man's Sky, it's like you start building a base and then a storm rolls in. It's like, but what if you're on a planet where a storm can't roll in? Let's, let's go down and just have a quick... In fact, no, I don't even need to go down and have a quick check of my ship. I've got the plat records here. Um, beautiful. So I'm guessing that that means that it's pretty calm. We don't have so much to worry about. Which is great. So let's build ourselves... In fact, first off... We need to, to rename our base. If I could type. Uh, should I just call it Silver Mountain or Silver Mountain? Yeah, let's just call it Silver Mountain. There we go. Right, so... Where are my floorboards? Build ourselves a log cabin, shall we? Try and find somewhere a little where it's not half covered in grass or something. Because I don't know, sometimes it terraforms perfectly. Yeah, and other times it does stuff like that. Need more carbon. Thing. There are a lot of trees around. Whew. Yeah, we'll 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 have to see how things progress. I'm the the one new worry that I have is that now that you've got a lot of people going, yeah, No Man's Sky not that bad. It's kind of what. what they said they would put out to begin with. Um, you know, this last update included a lot. You know, the freighters and, and the fleets being kind of expanded upon or, or added in wholesale the new threat from, from the xenomorph creatures to the biological horrors. The person mode, um, the, the capacity for multiplayer, all of that stuff. You know, all added in like one big update uh, that coincided with sales so that people could pick up the, so that the Hello Games could pick up the play numbers and all that kind of stuff. You know, that that's all very well and good. But it does it does maybe worry me a little bit that you know what are they gonna what are they gonna do next? Are they going to do, try and do something smaller next? Or is the next one going to be, right, well, we did that and now we need to top um, and go above and beyond the thing that we, we did moments before? 
would I be kind of happy if they did something really big and awesome? Yeah, but at the same time, do I want them to run into... But yeah, am I, am I worried that they're... Um... But am I worried that they're going to do something above and beyond that could possibly cause problems for them so that then... You know, we see a drop off, we see the game like running into issues again. You know, uh, not necessarily just lazy development stuff or, or over exaggeration or whatever else, but in terms of. You know, well, we've got a storm, and I specifically built this off the ground like this so that even though we can't get inside. We can just stand in this this armpit underneath the house and be safe from the storm. There we go. But yeah, I'm I'm kind of worried that maybe we'll see um, kind of an, an issue of either the studio wanting to go above and beyond and not not necessarily going full distance or them trying to do smaller things next you know just a few uh, updates here and there more stuff more more stuff to do with things like the biological horrors maybe more uh, expansion on uh, certain story elements new activities to do uh, new ship classes and things for us to pick up and collect and use um, new things to build and all that kind of stuff or are we potentially going to see them try and, and do all of those things without necessarily trying to overshoot or undershoot but then because it's not as big as this big update that's kind of brought so many people back to the game um, and brought so many, so many new players including myself to the game you know, and stuff like that is, is, are we going to see this this problem that they have created for themselves where you know we, they're, they're either not doing enough or they're doing too much and not achieving it fast enough you know the fact that they've been very quiet in regards to uh, their development stuff and how they've been managing it all you know that that's to their credit here i think because it means that they've got the freedom to just go whatever we do next is whatever we do next uh, recovered salvage technology and then unlock stuff with it. Yes, please. This is one of the things I, I found that's taken me the most time. The unlocking of, um, of blueprints and things with salvage tech. You know, going in, uh, going out, finding salvage tech like this thing over here. It's only 100 meters away, so we may as well go over. So, you know, we go over here, we pick it up, we get two. And there are an awful lot of blueprints to unlock. And it can, it, like, I've had to, at times, in, in other games, explicitly go out and just farm as as much as, as possible. Like, travelling for miles and miles and miles. Just to try and dig up as many of these buried technology things as possible, just so that I can... Uh, have the blueprints and things to unlock stuff so that my base actually looks semi-decent or has half the things that I would need you know like a roof for instance using the material that I want to use or whatever you know but it, like it's a, it's a good way to keep people playing but um I don't necessarily think it's a, it's as warranted a way as it could be. How long have we been going? Okay, we've been going we've been going half an hour, and I've been mostly just giving you guys my expanded thoughts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, and because the farming side and the building side and all the rest of it or what take time, I'm going to go away and do some of that, and then once I've gone away and done some of that, 
then once we're on to the either next big story step, the next big thing that we find or whatever else, or if I just find something cool, then I will come back to you guys and, and show off uh, that and have a chat around it and so on and so forth. But either way, guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the video tomorrow. Take care. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, please drop us a like, share this video and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.